Oh god, things are breaking. <laughs> uh, well that's good to know. Uh, so yeah, this is just gonna be the uh, the follow up to that first uh, D and D Beyond homebrew video that I've done, uh, where we survived the uh, character sheet revamp for the most part. Uh, there are a few bugs that we're working through. We uh, the D and D Beyond team is working through. Uh, and I just wanted to uh, show off some of the new changes to the uh, races and uh, walk through how to do that with some good old uh, Unearthed Arcana. So way back, uh, probably around the time Curse of Strahd was going, uh, they added a, or they played around with adding a new subrace for the Revenant. Um, so in Critical Role, um, Revenants had made uh, a few appearances, uh, but if you want to play one in your own game, uh, you can just apply these rules. Um, so if we wanted a humanite Revenant, we would just go in and create a variant for this, um, because we are actually going to be going back and updating um, some base class features or base race features so we want to create a variant for the human uh, and we already do have a variant human uh, in there and it's a lot easier to um, go in and edit based off of that one so we'll use that as a template so this is our human Revenant. Now, for most races, um, I always keep the base race as the last uh, bit, or the last word in the title of the race, because that last word is what's going to be bolded. But for here, I kind of like the flavor of having it being a human revenant as opposed to a revenant human. Uh, so I want to have it have the revenant be the bolded race name. Um, the Unearthed Arcana gives us a really good description. Um, I don't want to copy and paste from there because the text needs to be uh, formatted a little bit. But having met a cruel and undeserved end, you have returned to the realm of the living. As a revenant, you have a thirst for revenge against those who have wronged you in life. Blah, blah, blah. Your DM might allow you to take this uh, for a slain character. And uh, you would just update your race based off of that. So this race group doesn't make a lot of sense at first. Um, it just shows you all of the um, base races in the game. What this is going to do is it's just going to help us declutter. Um, ah, yes, Vumin. Uh, thank you, Chris Vumango. Uh, so what this is going to do is just help us declutter a bit, uh, where we'll have all of our human um, variants, our human subraces under a collapsible uh, whenever we start building uh, characters. Uh, and you can do this for any of the base races. You can't do this for any homebrew races quite yet. Um, you might not ever be able to, but to keep these clean, I want to keep this under a human. So let's go ahead and save that. So now we have our nice base race. So these are using the human uh, scores right now. Um, if we use some variant human traits, we are going to be removing the skills trait and the feat trait. I do. I do have on my Chris Perkins hat. Awu Oscoif, how are you doing? Welcome to the uh, couch. So let's remove this skills because that's what the um, Unearthed Arcana sheet tells us to do. And let's remove that feat trait. Now the ability score increase is updated for this. Uh, instead of two different ability scores of your choice being updated by one, a silent ban. Hey Deadman, how are all y'all doing? Uh, let's see. Okay. So because um, 
we're essentially applying a subrace to this where you need to add both of these skills to it. <laughs> you tried, Saliban. Um, we need to add the constitution score increase by one. So let's just go ahead and add that. So our constitution score is going to increase by one, and two other ability scores are going to increase by one. Let's save that, make sure that we don't lose that description. And let's go and edit this racial trait. So we already have the bonus uh, to two ability scores uh, added in here. We just need to go in and add the constitution modifier. So we're going to have a bonus to our constitution score, sorry, not the modifier, by one. And there we go, we fixed the ability score uh, for this. Uh, the big one that every revenant gets is the relentless nature. So our snippet is what's going to actually show up in the character sheet. Uh, I did not know that those bullets will carry over. That's neat. Uh, this is just going to be our at a glance, what do we get from this? And the benefits that we gain from being a revenant are, if we're below our half point maximum at the start of our turn, we get a hit point. Uh, if we die, we come back 24 hours after death, and we know the distance and direction between us and any creature in, involved with our goal. So. If we're the homing beacon for a uh, uh, newly ascended demigod, or if someone stole our money and we just want it back, we have that. Uh, but our whole description is that we get a gold uh, assigned to us, and when it's complete, we finally die and cannot be restored. Uh, we don't want to mess with the display order because that's going to cause some weird stuff and if we wanted it to update um, to replace a base racial trait which we'll do in a little bit uh, we would just mark that here so awesome we've at, we've updated our ability score and we have the description for uh, the bonuses that we get for now uh, so we're not doing combat tracking in the current version of the character sheet, uh, so most of this is pretty moot right now. If we get updates later, and maybe I'll do an episode where we come back and fix this, but for now, everything should be good. <laughs> Glad you liked it, Osqueef, the uh, Mercury emote. I should probably have the chat uh, in these videos, but I feel like this uh, format works for now. So awesome, we have our human revenant and y'all know that I like to test these out by making a new character. So the only thing that we really need to do is choose that race. Uh, so we put our guy in the uh, human group and we see right here we have our human revenant. Uh, let's take Elvish. So our constitution score is gonna update. We're gonna say dexterity strength uh let's just quickly go through all of this
and we should see on our character sheet we have our ability scores increasing yep our strength and two other ability scores increased and we have our relentless nature awesome so uh, that was obviously not the only uh, revenant on here this was just one of the uh, racial adjustments Uh, the most complicated one of these is going to be the Dragonborn Revenant, and it doesn't seem that way. Because, think about it, the only thing that's happening is we're, we're essentially taking one point away from Charisma, or Strength. We're taking one point away from Strength and putting it in Constitution. And we are changing our damage resistance and our breath attack to Necrotic Damage. That's where it gets tedious. We can't just replace the entire thing with, I've already gone and done this, but we can't just replace the entire breath weapon attack, or breath weapon trait, with a single breath weapon that does uh, necrotic damage because this does not change the geometry of the breath weapon and it doesn't change the saving throw. So we actually have to go in and for every breath weapon, Um, make sure that we have the proper uh, geometry and saving throw. So, you know, some of these have deck saves, some of these have constitution saves. Uh, some of these are cones, uh, 15 foot cones. Some of these are five by 30 lines. Um, yeah, there's a lot of options. Um, so you can go in, I'm not even sure that this uh, needs to stay. This might just be a holdover from the old character sheet, uh, but we just need to go in and add the description, uh, making sure that we include the uh, save DC con snippet code, uh, which is just two curly brackets, save DC uh, colon con close the curly braces, um, and specify that it's necrotic damage. What we need to go in and do is add an action for all of these uh, and make sure that our prerequisite is based off of the dragon that we were in life. Um, so if we were a copper dragon, then we just need to say that, hey, this is, uh, the save DC is based off our constitution modifier. So go in and set that to con. Uh, the save type for copper, I think was originally poison. Now it's dexterity or not shit. What is copper? Copper acid dexterity save. Yeah. So they need to make a dexterity save. It's 2d6 whenever we start off, half, half damage if they succeed. Damage type is going to be necrotic because we're a revenant now, and this is going to be an attack. There is a bug in the character sheet right now where it's having trouble finding this to put in the character sheet. Uh, hopefully that'll be fixed soon. Um, Blasted. Exactly, Crispy Mango. Uh, the range is 30 feet, it's a line, uh, 30 foot line. It is an action that respawns at a short rest, and our snippet uh, is the same for the description. Uh, then we need to go in and just make sure that we say that it's, uh, we get one use of this, which we don't get anymore. If we go in here and uh, add more limited uses we can add a level scale but i'm pretty sure dragonborn only get the one per short rest uh and we add a level override so um at level six we can go in and add pretty much anything to here uh we just need to say that we get three dice whenever we get a level six if you want to change the dice type you would do that here or if the range got bigger you would do it here
it's an after date back. Big thing is that this is going to be based off of uh, a prerequisite trait from the base class, uh, which we can do. Uh, and this does replace the breath weapon from that base class. Let's go in and look at those other racial traits. So we know for that ability score, our strength uh, modifier is going to go down by one. Uh, or instead of gaining two strength, we only gain one. Uh, our charisma is also going to go up by one. And our constitution, like all revenants, is going to go up by one more. Uh, so we just add all of those here. Same way as we did for the human. Uh, our damage resistance, this one we don't have to map to the race because in all cases, or, I'm sorry, we don't have to map toward the color of the dragon. Um, in all cases, we're going to be resistant to necrotic damage. So this is going to replace the damage resistance from the base dragonborn. Um, and we add that necrotic resistance. The important thing to remember is that you're not going to be able to uh, replace any racial traits if you're not using a variant. It's really important to use a variant for this um, or anything that doesn't have a subrace. In the case with tieflings, you do have to use a subrace since they weren't initially uh, conceived as having subraces. Um, but if we go in and start making a new tiefling, uh, variant for this uh, we can just use one of these uh, pre-existing ones as a nice template and we'll see they're already messing with the ability scoring increase and replacing the infernal legacy trait like we would so let's talk about that just a little bit um, so whenever this subrace was initially uh, uh, talked about for the tieflings, uh, the other unearthed arcana that was out uh, that was talking about tiefling subraces was that old white magic, which was for rage of demons, rage of demons, uh, where we were talking about the abyssal tiefling. <laughs> Let's talk about it exactly, Chris and Mango. Um, so right here. Um, we replace Infernal Le Legacy and uh, these ability score intelligence increase to make uh, those subraces. And that's what's happening here with these. Uh, we do keep the languages and the hellish resistance for all of these tiefling subraces. That's what I uh, wanted to keep going in my own uh, tiefling subrace. So I'm actually going to go back. And get rid of this and just show the tiefling subrace that I already made for revenants. So once again, we're just making our Charisma score go up uh, by two, like all other tieflings. Uh, but instead of getting that Intelligence bonus, we're getting our Constitution going up, and then we replace the Infernal Legacy with that same Relentless Nature that all Revenants get. Alright, so those are the hard uh, racial adjustments. For anything else, like say we want a Dwarf Revenant, we would just go and make the subrace. Uh, and let's just make it from scratch because there's nothing that we really need to copy. Dwarf Revenant. So same description as any other one, uh, which I'm copying from a Word document to the side of me. making this a dwarf. Uh, this is not a variant, so we won't be replacing any uh, base class stuff. 
first thing we do is add that ability score increase. <laughs> Goth GF heroes. Uh, your constitution score, not modifier, score increases by one. Uh, for sub races, I don't think we really worry about the display order. Um, I haven't played around with display order that much. But let's just go in and put that bonus in here. And like all revenants, the dwarf revenant is going to have that same relentless nature. Below half our hit point maximum, we get a hit point. If you die, come back 24 hours, and we hear a homing begin. Awesome. And that's all we needed for the uh, Dwarf Revenant. Now let's talk about the Raven in the room. If we look at the racial adjustments uh, section of the Unearthed Arcana, we see one little disclaimer. This playtest article provides options only for human and dragonborn characters. Because half elves and half orcs have no subrace options, they shouldn't be used with these revenant subrace rules. Well, we know of a certain half, uh, half elf revenant that I'm sure a lot of us would like to have the stats for. Um, but whenever this was written, there were no sub-races for half-elves. But, with the wonderful Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide, we do see that we are given some variant half-elves. Um, the wood elf, uh, half wood elf, half high elf, half drow elf, or, or half aquatic elf, which was actually our first look at, uh, the excuse me, the sea elf, a long time before Morning Canids came out. So let's actually make one based off of that. So we'll create a variant of the half elf. And we're just going to be tinkering with the same, uh, mm, let's do the drow, no, let's do the wood half elf, because there are options that we can just get rid of. Um, we'll tinker with the wood half elf, uh, variant as a template for this. So like all the other revenants, I'm just pasting the same uh, description. And this will go for the half elf group. And this is a variant, so we will be replacing stuff. So the half elf revenant, or sorry, the half wood elf only has one racial trait, and that is the variant, uh, which just tells us that we can choose one of the half uh, or one of the wood elf's uh, racial traits, and this replaces the skill versatility. Well, let's go and go ahead and remove these options, and replace this trait with the. Relentless Nature.
same thing as the rest of them. It's replacing the skill versatility trait. Uh, I guess it's taken display order one. Cool stuff. So we've got that, but we still need to worry about the ability score increase. We need to make sure that constitution score is getting that buff. So what we can do is just go ahead and replace that ability score increase. There's a cat up for adoption named Mr. Green Jeans. Less. Uh, so half elves actually do get an ability score increase. Uh, I believe they get uh, two ability scores of their choice. Uh, we just want to. We don't want to add any more power to the to the race. All we want to do is make sure that one of those is spent for constitution. So your constitution score as well as one other ability score of your choice increases by one. And I guess this is, this should take the trace, the place of the ability score increase, so we're not gonna worry about the display order. So let's go ahead and add our modifiers. Bonus to consti constitution score by one. And for our choice, we do pretty much the same thing. Bonus to choose an ability score by one. And there we go, we have a half elf revenant. Now I don't know how I would do a half orc revenant uh, quite yet. Um, this is just how I would do the half elf revenant because I know a lot of critters like half elf revenants. I could never imagine why. Um, so like every, anything else, let's go and look at a character. So we have our half elf rogue paladin uh vux but uh he is a half elf at this point well let's say he dies and needs to come back to life i mean the raven queen was added to fifth edition half orc does not have any sub races not yet chris Humego. um let's go ahead and change his race to the Revenant Half-Elf. He probably likes Dexterity. And he probably speaks under common. So we do notice that they are keeping their Fey Ancestry, uh, but they do also get that Relentless Nature. And if we go on the sheet, we should be able to see that Relentless Nature. There it is. So that's cool. Um, like I said, at this moment, uh, there are a few weirdness going on with uh, d and Beyond's character sheet, um, especially for like the Dragonborn Revenant. Uh, let's go and look at uh, what I'm talking about. So let's say I have my Dragonborn Revenant Sorcerer. Uh, who totally won't take the place of any of my current characters. Uh, if I go in and look at the racial traits, we see that, hey, that breath weapon is here. But it's not showing up in my uh, actions for my character. And actually, even if we click on it, uh, we get a 500 error. The beholder has appeared and ruined everything. Um, so it looks like D&D Beyond's having some issues like retrieving private homebrew stuff and adding it to uh, character sheets just for now. Um, hopefully that'll be fixed really soon. 
Uh, if you do find any bugs whenever you're building your own homebrew stuff, there is a forum where you can go and put all that in the bugs and support section. You can add it to the character sheet revamp bug report um, or any other pinned uh, stuff. Or if you just need feedback, if like there's another thing that you want to add, you can um, drop that somewhere here. Um, and that's what I've been doing for uh, this past ever since I was trying to uh, add these little uh, import this homebrew content imp import the Anarthicana stuff uh, but yeah that's pretty much all I wanted to show off for now uh, hopefully all those bug fixes will be fixed pretty soon and yeah thanks guys for joining uh, chat I hope y'all have been having fun with my chatbot commands and the new subscriber remotes uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in a bit. Uh, I don't know what we were playing tonight, but yeah, see you guys later.